Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. <laughs> This is Africa, and here's Malawi. Now let's have a look, shall we? Firmly lodged in the East African Rift, Malawi sits propped alongside one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world. During the Stone Age, the Twa Pygmy inhabitants of Malawi left their mark in the form of red rock art. The white figures were added later by Bantu speakers, who arrived in the Iron Age. The medieval era saw more Bantu speakers migrate into the region, and they established a more organized system of governance, forming the Maravi Empire, from which its believed Malawi gets its name. As you see, the empire was very big, stretching all the way to the sea. It was run by the Chewa people, who are today the largest ethnic group in the country. Agriculture was the mainstay of the economy. In the 19th century, the Ungoni and Yao peoples began raiding Malawi and took many people captive to sell in the Indian Ocean slave trade. This century also saw a visit from the famous Scottish doctor missionary David Livingstone, who introduced Christianity. British influence increased until all Malawi became a protectorate of the British Empire, known as Nyasa land, British rule was resented and resisted by both the Chewa and Yao peoples. The push for independence was led by Hastings Kamuzu Banda, a movement that succeeded in 1964. Banda became the first president two years later, a position he retained for nearly 30 years. Though he ruled as a dictator and was responsible for thousands of deaths, Banda also oversaw numerous improvements, from education to transport infrastructure. Nevertheless, new roads aren't much consolation to people suffering from human rights grievances, and by the 1990s, the calls for change were finally heeded. Banda's opponent easily beat him in the 1994 elections. Societal freedoms increased, but on the whole, things didn't really get better. And in 2002, there was a horrible famine. Under President Mutarika, admirable efforts were made to fix things, but in the end, little progress was made. A story that was repeated under Joyce Banda. Corruption and poverty plagued the nation, and still do. And Malawi today ranks low on the Human Development Index, and is severely reliant on foreign aid. What needs to be done to ensure lasting improvements and advancement is something we hope Malawi figures out soon, and we wish it all the best as it works towards this goal. But as for me, it's bye for now. Bye-bye!